Thanks for taking a moment to watch this demonstration of how the Shore Shim Pigtail Plug Safety Shim is used and installed. Let's answer one question first, and that is why do I need a safety shim or what's its importance? This is the Shore Shim, safe, uh, Shore Shim Safety Shim here. And you'll probably recognize this as a standard 7 pin pigtail plug and receptacle for plugging a trailer onto a commercial tractor truck. When I install this, and this is a brand new set, push it in and the lid snaps down and locks with a little hook there to keep it from pulling back out. But even with a brand new manufacturer, this plug has a lot of play in it. I think there's probably a couple of reasons for that and mostly because it's all metal and so it's going to expand and contract so they can't make it too tight to start with or you'd never get it out. But with that much play you can imagine the vibration on the road that these things are getting on a, on a constant basis. That will cause the pins inside that the plug plugs onto to get worn. It will cause the housing to get worn. It will cause uh, the wires actually to come off of their nuts and screws inside of here. So there's a lot of wear and tear on this and then basically the result is that you get blinking lights or lights that intermittently go out or stay out or you can in fact get truck fires that are caused by shorting wires in here that get hot enough to ignite any flammable materials out and around the pigtail. So from a safety standpoint and from a cost standpoint a shim is a way to reduce all of those damages and to make the entire housing work longer. So let me show you how it's installed. All I do is I simply take the shim with the collar toward and away from the receptacle. I put it on about half inch to three quarters of the inch, inches of the way down and you can see that there's a slot for this that's open for the key. Now if I just plug it in like I normally do Make sure that's locked and then I can sync up the shim as tight as I need to. It may need to be a little tighter if it's cold and there's a greater gap in there, a little less if it's uh, hot and that gap is you know, shrunk up. But now that that shim is in there, that's as solid as a rock. Which means that all of that wear and tear that was happening on these internal components is now being transferred through the case and into the truck walls into the strain relief and the other places it was designed to go without damaging the critical components here that are going to create blinking and lights that are off. Now let me demonstrate for you how you remove the safety shim. It's also very easy. I just lift up my lid and I just pinch these things toward each other. The shim slides out easily and now I can remove my plug. It's that easy. Thank you for watching this demonstration.